friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. If you don't know me already, I make houseplanting content all over the internet. So if you want to follow along with my houseplanting journey and learn something along the way, subscribe to my channel and check out some more of my videos. Wait just one second, editing Emma here. I am very, very sorry to interrupt, but I just want to say I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I had something in my teeth the entire time I was filming the video. And so it's just sitting there in my teeth the whole time. I'm so sorry if it's distracting to you. It's definitely distracting to me editing this video. So, my bad. <laughs> That's my disclaimer. <laughs> sorry about that. Enjoy the rest of the video. So today we are doing a video voted for by my patrons. Thank you, patrons. When asked what collection of mine they wanted to see, they selected Hoyas. So Hoyas it shall be. Cool, so let's get into the Hoyas. I think I'm kind of gonna go in chronological order, chronological-ish, um, kind of the order I've gotten them. I don't exactly remember the exact order, seeing as I've gotten a whole bunch of Hoyas in a very short amount of time. I have 18 Hoyas to show you today. I know. I had three, maybe less, at the beginning of this year. Oh my god, it's been five months and I've bought 16 Hoyas. They're not huge, but they're like, that's 16 more Hoyas than I had before. You could say I'm a Hoya head. I think I'm officially in the zone. I freaking love them. I'm gonna keep collecting them because I think they're so cool. So the very first Hoya that I got is this Hoya Crimson Princess in my head planter. And I got this as actually like really tiny cuttings from my cousin who had a big plant in her home and she let me take a couple cuttings and I rooted them myself. But it has been quite a while since I've had this one. It's definitely my most long-standing Hoya and it has grown so much. It's in like a pretty small pot, but it just fits in this planter really nicely and gives it some flair. I absolutely love this one because the new leaves come out pinky. Do you see how cute that is? It's just like the most adorable little thing. And if it's in bright enough light, you can get ones that like come out fully pink and then turn into fully white, which is pretty cool. I just think it's a really nice plant and I like the variegation on it. It's so different to the rest of like, I don't know, Hoyas are just different. I mean, obviously all plants are different, but like there's something special about Hoyas. And I really, really, really freaking want to get this one to flower. It hasn't yet, unfortunately, but I want it to flower so badly. So if any of you have tips on how to get your Hoyas to flower, I will much appreciate them because I want it to so bad. Like my goal is to like grow this one to flower, like from cuttings to flowering. That would be insane. I I'm obsessed. I'd be obsessed. I mean, I already am obsessed, but like even more obsessed. So after I got this one, I of course had to get the Crimson Queen as well. Bless you. Just pulled out a couple of leaves. It's not in the brightest of spots right now. It's living in my hallway, which doesn't have any windows. I know that's bad because these guys like quite a lot of bright light. Indirect ideally, but like bright still. Some can even handle direct light. It just depends on the type and your situation and whatever. So I probably do need to move this. I rotate things off that table. But I wanted to get this one because it's kind of like the sister plant to the Crimson Princess. Whereas the princess has white on the insides of the leaves. The queen has white on the outside. The, like the queen wears the crown. And the crown is the white bit. So that's how I differentiate between the two. I do have some like pretty white leaves on there. I mean, that grew well before I put it in its current dark location, but it's on a trellis and I think it quite likes it. Like, I kind of wound it round, but I think it's gonna continue to wind and these new leaves have grown since I put it on there. So I think it's liking it. I think I should need to move it to a little bit of a brighter spot, which I can do. Maybe I will switch you out for something else. So this Hoya is a Pubicalyx, Pubic, Pubicalyx, Publicalyx. Either way, I saw it online and I was like, I absolutely freaking have to have that because it's got these like really long leaves with splashes on them. You can get ones that are splashier. I think it's the Pubicalyx splash, but 
I just like, I just think they're gorgeous. This one had a really, really, really tall like a runner, essentially. This whole thing was a runner and then I put it, I staked it up. And from when I staked it up, it started growing leaves again. So that's why I've put it on this trellis because it needs that little bit of support, I think. It's not in the brightest of areas, but it's it's fine. It's by grow light and I think it likes it quite a lot. This is one of the only Hoyas I have in Pawn. I'm not sure if Pawn is ideal for Hoyas. I think it depends. I know some people absolutely swear by it, but I'm not convinced really. I think I prefer them in soil. But I suppose it depends. It depends on you and how you can care for your plants, but I think I prefer them in soil. So maybe I will convert this back to soil eventually to see if I can get it to grow a little bit better. But I also grew this one from a small cutting quite a while ago, I think like a year ago now, at least. And I think this is kind of the one that just, it got me into the obsession, the Hoya obsession. Cause like ever since I got this one, I've been like, yes, I need more, I need more. And I've gotten more, so. Next up, we have the Hoya Carrii. This one I have is the Reverse, I think it's called, because it's got this like, ooh, it's very dusty. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Should probably dust my plants better. But it's got that sort of light patch in the middle there. And I'm not totally ashamed, but kind of ashamed to say that I did buy this one purely to make my heart-shaped leaves video this past Valentine's Day. How can you have a heart shaped leaves video without talking about the carry eye? I think it's pretty much impossible. So I uh, bought myself this plant. This was the first plant I bought in 2022 since I've been on a plant ban. Been on a plant ban. But it hasn't done all that much. I think it was like a middle cutting, like in there. It's got a couple points where I think it's been chopped but I only just noticed this tiny bit of new growth there, which is awesome. I've been like waiting for this one to put out new growth for ages now, literally months. And it's finally starting to do something, which is amazing because I would love like a really tall plant, with, like loads and loads of these huge hearts. These are like bigger than the normal carry eye hearts. Also, if you have the kind of carry eye where it's just a heart in a pot or like two hearts in the pot and there's no stem to it, Unfortunately, it's kind of like a marketing scam because it will never actually grow. It needs like part of this like stem and node tissue in order to actually create new growth. So it'll look pretty, it'll last a while. It's a cute little heart-shaped plant, but it will not give you anything else and will eventually die, which is unfortunate. But yeah, that's why I tried to get one with multiple leaves and a node and stuff so it would grow more and I could have a bigger plant down the line. So next up, I got this one a while ago, like a long while ago. It is a Hoya Linearis. It's actually in a prop box right now in my Ikea cabinet with this Peperomia, but this whole thing here winding around is a Hoya Linearis. And it's just been rooting in here for ages, literally ages. I don't know when I plopped this in this box, but it has been a long, long, long time. I'm just trying to see if I can pull it out. I'm not sure I can, but it has recently in the last few months actually started putting out new growth. So that whole bit there is new, which is super exciting. I think it's probably time to separate it from <laughs> this peperomia. It's probably time to pot up this like a crazy peperomia as well. So I should probably do that but it's just been sitting pretty in my prop box in the cabinet for a while now. And I do like this one. I'm just not as familiar with it as I am with other Hoya. Like, I feel like it needs a bit more attention than other Hoyas do. I also have some linear cuttings in one of my prop boxes that have literally just been sitting there doing absolutely nothing for like at least a couple months now. And so I think I'm gonna put those in water. I've seen them do really, really well for other people in water. So I think that's what I need to do because this one just took absolutely forever. And I like, I don't feel like waiting, I'm a bit impatient. But yeah, this is the Hoya Linearis. And also this one's quite fun because it's a bit fuzzy. Not many of the other Hoyas are fuzzy. They're more like waxy, which is like fun and different, but I like that this one's fuzzy. It's cute. 
So next up is this Hoya Croniana Super Silver. Like, holy cow is this thing silver. It is absolutely insane. Like, look at those leaves. Oh, like, y'all know I'm obsessed with silver plants, right? Like, you know that I just absolutely love them. And so when I saw this, I had to buy it. I think also this one, it's only just started growing for me. Like, I think these few leaves are new since I got it. Also, it's in another one of my bust pots because love them. But yeah, it's just a tiny, tiny little plant. I wonder if it needs a bigger pot. Doesn't look like it, so it's fine. But yeah, I, I'm just obsessed. Like, how, like, I just love how tiny the little leaves are and how silver they are. And I just want a huge plant of this. So it's a bit of a slow grower, so I'm gonna have to be patient, but I absolutely love it. And I hope it keeps growing well for me. This one is a Hoya parasitica and I got it as a tiny little baby plant. I'm pretty sure it had like one or two leaves on it. This one at the very least is new since I got it. And this entire vine thing going along there is new since I got it. It was just going up but I figured it would prefer some sort of support. And since then, it looks like it's starting to put out a tiny bit of new growth, which is good. I think it does like the support. This one is another one that's living in my IKEA cabinet. This is the only one in soil in my cabinet. That's an actual plant. I do have a couple props in there, but they're just props. They're not actually like growing quite yet. If you couldn't tell, I'm absolutely obsessed with it because of its splashes. And I like how big the leaves are compared to the pubicalyx. The pubicalyx leaves are like long and skinny and these ones are quite round, which I really like. And I haven't really seen this one being sold in the UK. I love it. I think it's really cute. It was kind of weird because it came in like, it's rooted in a piece of wood, which I found really odd. But I mean, I just left it in the wood because it felt like it'd be too weird to take it out. And so far it's growing fine, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just hoping to see these leaves, like, not blow up, literally, but like, they just expand. This leaf started out as the tiniest, tiniest little thing, and like, this size, and now it is nearly as big as like, the main leaf on the plant. So, I just know it's gonna grow so well. And if I could have a little, like, loopy of big leaves, that'd be, that'd be cute, wouldn't it? So now we're gonna get into the cuttings section of my purchasings. I basically had some time when I just like didn't have any willpower to not buy plants. I saw one of my friends posting on Instagram that they were selling these Hoyas and I was like, can I have them please? So I bought some Hoyas. So what I got was three cuttings. So this first one is a Hoya latifolia and they have these like really big round leaves where you can see the veining in them. And it does have like tiny notes of splashing, like not huge big bits of splashing like some of my other splashy Hoyas, but still some good splashing in there. And I like it, it kind of looks like a turtle, which I quite like, but it is rooting so well, like, I know it's got sphagnum on it, but like all of these are roots and even from this node there are roots as well. It's probably nearly time to put it in its own vessel. I might put it in a small pot with some sphagnum moss just because when the roots get too long in the prop box, they will start to tangle with other plants roots, which we don't want because it just makes a big bit of a mess for me to deal with later. So I'll probably put this in a new pot which is exciting. It is graduating from the brow box. But yeah, my first of those three cuttings I bought that kind of fueled my fire. The next one, I kind of find to be a bit odd, but I was curious and so I got it. So this is a Hoya caudata, caudata? I'm not really sure on the pronunciation, but it is very, very, very different to a lot of other Hoyas. The leaf texture is so much different. It's not waxy like most of the Hoyas are. Like, they're called wax plants, aren't they? Like, I literally don't know how to describe it. It's like the back side is a little bit hairy, and the front side, I don't know, they kind of look like oak leaves to me. I know they're nothing like oak leaves, but they kind of give me that vibe. Or like, 
they kind of look dead. I know that's not ideal. Um, it's not my favorite Hoya of the bunch, but I do still really like it and I would like to see how it grows. Again, it is growing roots, but I don't think it's quite ready to graduate from the box yet. They need a little bit more time. It's just sitting on top of some moss, living its life and growing some roots. I hope it continues to do really well. I don't know, I'm like, I'm not take it or leave it about it, but like, it's not the favorite of the collection, which is fine. I don't have to have favorites in all of my plants. So this one's going back in the box. And then the third one, this is like pretty much why I like placed this planty order. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, it's got quite a long runner, which I was trying to root like all the way along. Oh my goodness, it is so long, so long. Okay, one second. Okay, look, just look at these leaves. They are so dark like almost black and their splashes are insane. I'm like, oh, they're just so freaking pretty. Like this, this is like my ideal Hoya, the sort of dark and splashy. <laughs> but it has this very long sort of runner, which they've kind of rooted all the way along, even to the end. I'm not gonna take all the moss off because I don't feel like it, but it has quite a lot of decent roots on there. I don't think it is quite ready yet, um, but oh, I'm just, I'm literally like, I'm in love with this Hoya. It is so nice. And like even the backs of the leaves, you can like see that dark veining in there. Oh, so nice. Next up, I have this one, which is propping in some water. This is a Hoya Grey Ghost. And oh my goodness, look at these roots. Do you see those roots? They're like absolutely insane. Oh, I'm just so excited for it. When I got this cutting, it didn't have any roots and I just plonked it in the water and I'll look at it. Ah! So I got this in a swap with someone, but like, oh, these leaves are just like incredible. So silvery. I'm just, I'm, I'm obsessed. Like also gray ghost, I just love the name. Like blue leaves, blue, silver, gray leaves. They are my jam. Like, pff, what, what? There's nothing I can do about it. I'm just, I just love them. But I think this one is probably pretty ready to be potted up soon. Or like now. <laughs> I should probably put it probably in some soil, I think I'll do. But yeah, I'm really, really, really excited about this one. This one rooted way faster than my Hoya princesses did like ages and ages and ages ago. Maybe like six or eight weeks as opposed to like, literal months of time. So I'm very pleased with this. Also, this was living in my Ikea cabinet. Maybe that's why it is rooting a little bit better because the humidity is really high in there and it's getting lots of grow light. So the next Hoya I got, I got like a proper full, full plant of a Hoya. It is this crazy thing. I think it's a little bit dehydrated right now. I should probably give it a water, especially because it's been really, really hot here lately. But Oh my goodness, like look how pretty it is. This is a Hoya polyneura, I think it's called, or a fishtail Hoya. And I did get it because it matches my tattoo. They're like made up plants, but they look exactly like this. So <laughs> that is why I did end up getting it. But also like, I just think it's so pretty. And like some of the leaves, let me find a good example of it. Some of the leaves have a variegation on them. Like, look at that. You can see there's a little variegation on there. So even though it's like a plain polyneura, I think it's got the slightest bit of variegation, which is good because who doesn't like variegation? And you know I'm obsessed with splashy Hoyas now. So yeah, this one has actually been growing really well as well. Quite a few of the vines have put out new growth since I've gotten it. Like you can see these tiny little leaves, which will grow so much bigger in the next couple of weeks. I think if I have any chance of getting a Hoya to flower, it's probably this one just purely because it is my biggest Hoya. And so it's like my most mature, most likely to potentially flower. I haven't noticed anything that would make me think maybe, maybe that. Can you see that tiny little thing? Is that a Ped peduncle, ped peduncle, 
peduncle. Looks like it might be because like there's leaf growth next to it. And then that's kind of like a little round thing. It is my biggest Hoya and I'm obsessed with it. And I just like, I love how it's just trailly and so pretty. Like, look at those leaves. Oh, I mean, I told you I was obsessed. Was I wrong? No, I wasn't wrong. Then I got this Croniana, but this Croniana is a splash, not a super silver. You can see the leaves just have those little splashes of variegation on them. I got this one in my Grow Tropicals haul, which I'll link in the clickable eye button, but uh, to be honest, this plant isn't the happiest. When I got it, it was very wilty and I have had to throw some away. I did repot it and look at the roots and most of them seemed fine, but I do need to do something about it. I am probably going to take some security cuttings just to make sure that it lives. But I do think there has been some new growth since I got it, like these tiny little leaves there. And there's some on there as well that are new. So I think it still has a chance, but I might take some security cuttings anyway, because I'm nervous that it's going to die. So I got several Hoyas from my recent plant swap, another plant swap that I founded, created, went to, and had a great time swapping at. This was one of them. This, I believe, I've now identified it as a Wentii. I traded for it because I just really, really love those black edges. I just think they're so sweet and slick. And aside from the Pubacalyx, all of my other Hoyas have very round leaves. And so I wanted something that was a little bit different. Why is there a helicopter outside? I would like you to stop, please. Oh my goodness, that's like a military helicopter. One of those ones with like the double sets of blades. God, that's huge. What's happening? Crazy, that's why it's so freaking loud. Anyways, this is another one that's currently in my prop box. And so far it has grown this tiny little root, which is growing so well so far. It's probably gonna stay there for a little while, but yeah, I like it. And that's, that's just the first of four that I got from the plant swap. <laughs> at least I didn't buy these. At, at least I didn't buy these ones. They were swapped. So it doesn't count as getting new plants as much. <laughs> so I also got this Memoria, which again, I love just because of the splashy leaves. It's quite small. It is semi-rooted in here, so I don't really want to pull it out yet, but it's just sitting in moss and what looks like a little bit of perlite. But again, I got this one because it's splashy and I like it. I, it's like kind of what I wish my Croniana Silver Splash was. Like a healthy plant, <laughs> basically. But I do really like it. It is also living in a prop box, but in its own little pot. God, that helicopter needs to freaking stop. Another one I got from the swap is this Hoya Macrophylla, I think it's pronounced. But it's got these really long leaves with like super textury leaves, like the most textured of all the sort of Hoyas I've got. Like the veins are really pronounced and kind of bumpy. And I love these little like highlight halos almost around the edge of the leaf with the white variegation that's like, it's even pink on the very, very edge. Like oh, it's just gorgeous. Again, in the prop box. And again, it is rooting. So just gonna keep leaving it in there until it grows a little bit more mature roots and potentially even some new growth because it was a middle cutting, I think. So I want to give it the best chance of survival. I think my favorite one I got from the swap is this Hoya Mathilde. And like, do you see how dark black those leaves are? And then with the tiny little splashes, it's almost like constellations on a leaf. like. I'm obsessed. I think this one was already somewhat rooted before I swapped for it, but it's doing really, really well in the prop box. So I cannot complain. Oh, it's just it's so cute. And I love the little like, they're almost like button leaves. So adorable. And this is a top cutting as well, which makes it even better. So I just can't with all of these Hoyas. I can't, they're just, they're, they're amazing. Oh. I just don't get how I didn't get it before. And like there are Hoyas that I'm not as big a fans of. That's fine, you don't have to like every plant. But like all of these ones are just, ah. Uh, I just like, I want more. I want all of the splashy ones. Like every single splashy one I see, even 
if it's like the same sort of style of splash but like a different leaf shape I'm like I have to have it give it to me please <laughs> I have a problem and finally my most recent Hoya purchase is this Hoya Actua I think it's pronounced and again obviously I went for the one with the splashes these leaves are a little bit more heart-shaped which I like and slightly bigger than the Mathilde. They're also a lighter green, which is fun. It's just a slightly different. They're kind of more comparable to the Parasitica, but those are rounder. These are like more hearts with the pointy ends. But this one is, I think a middle cutting and it was semi-rooted before I got it, but this is my very newest one and I love it, obviously. Otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. It's just so cute. And like this one's like a really, really waxy one. The leaf feels like super solid. So I think it is very happy and I am not worried about it in the slightest. So that is it. That is my entire Hoya collection. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, seeing all the different types of Hoyas I have, watching me talk about how much I like Hoyas with splashes for the past who knows how many minutes. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want your say in what happens with my channel and be able to vote on my videos and decide on my content, head over to my Patreon, which is linked down below in the description. There you'll find loads of bonus content from extra videos to weekly updates about my life, kind of getting a better, more intimate version of me. We can chat. I also have a Discord server on there so we can talk plants, I can give advice, loads of different things. So if you're interested in that, link is in the description. I'll stop plugging it now. I mean, I won't because it would really help me. Like, buy me a cup of coffee each month in exchange for planty goodness, like extra videos and stuff. What's not to love? So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment about other plants you'd like me to talk about next, what other collections you'd like to see from me. I will link my collection playlist down below so you can see what I've already done. And yeah, subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.